Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at question 79 to 82 um, of section 3 of the Green Booklet. This is about sleeping sickness um, and about a bite from a fly that transfers a pathogenic organism um, that can live in the blood. It can cause these symptoms, and the symptoms can vary quite a lot. Um, we're given some information on uh, the, the context for figure 1, which I've copied out here. Um, so we'll start with question 79, which says the antibody trypanosomes most likely first appeared in rabbit blood on which day? So as we can see that the, the primary response uh, happened pretty much all at the same time on day seven. As we can see on the diagram here, this is roughly day seven. And so that would be the first appearance of the antibody. So for question 79, we can say the answer is going to be D. If we look at question 80, it says figure one indicates that on day 15, the rabbit had the greatest immunity against wolf. So day 15 is here. If we draw a line up, we can see that the, the highest level of um, immunity was to day four trypanosomes. And so the answer for this one is going to be B. And it's literally just because the titer is the highest for day four trypanosomes on that day. 81 says the reaction between day three trypanosomes and the plasma collected from the rabbits on progressive days, seven to nine inclusive, increased because of what? Okay, so if we were to have a look at um, the diagram here, we can see that um, the, there, there is a number of trends going on. I know it's a bit confusing because there's so many lines going around, but I think if we go through each of the answers, we'd be able to have a look. So the first says the level of plasma antigen increased. Now, I, I mean, there's no reason to think that this is true because um, on day three, um, trypanosomes do tend to um, decrease over time. So it's not going to be this. B says trypanosomes are increasingly produced more antibodies. Um, of course, uh, trypanosomes aren't um, producing antibodies. Um, they carry antigens on their surface and the reaction is due to their um, presence. C says the level of antigen on day three trypanosomes increased. Um, so the reaction between day three trypanosomes and plasma collected from the rabbits increased because of the level of the antigen increasing on day three trypanosomes. That wouldn't necessarily be true. Um, the presence of the antigen is enough to cause the initial immune response. The level of the antigen would mean that this immune response happens earlier, but it wouldn't necessarily mean that overall it will increase from day seven to day nine. And then D says the antibody against trypanosomes increasingly appeared in the rabbit's blood. And this is the one I think makes the most sense um, because uh, the titer would increase if there's more of these antibodies that are able to attach to these antigens. And of course, it takes a couple of days um, for these to be produced. And so as all these antibodies are being produced from the initial contact at day seven, um, we're going to get more and more agglutination as more of these antibodies are able to attach onto these antigens. It's not that the number of antigens themselves are increasing, but it's the antibodies that are going to go and attach to them, which is what's causing all this agglutination. So for 81, we say the answer is going to be D. And then finally for 82, it says, according to all the evidence provided, which one of the following best explains the alternation between episodes and severe and mild symptoms of sleeping sickness? Now, if we were to look at each of the answers in turn, I think that's probably the best way to approach this question. A says the rabbit's immune system is damaged by the trypanosomes. Now, because there is a general upward trend um, with the um, levels of antibodies, especially initially, there's no evidence to support um, from this diagram that the rabbit's immune system is damaged by the trypanosomes. We do see that there's generally like a little increase at the start and then decrease, but that's quite normal in response to an infection. Um, so that's not a sign that the immune system has been damaged. B says trypanosomes evolved to become resistant to antibiotics used against them. Um, this particular study um, doesn't really say very much about um, antibiotics being used, and so it wouldn't be an answer we could consider here. C says the antigens on the trypanosomes in the rabbit's blood change from time to time. Now this makes sense because this is be a form of mutation, um, which we know could happen. Um, if the antigens are 
changing on the surface, that means that new antibodies need to be produced. And we can see all sorts of different trends here that make sense uh, with that answer. So we're going to put down C. And to rule out D, it says, when ill, the victim of sleeping sickness is periodically infected by new pathogenic microbes. Now, it is possible for someone who is asleep to be bitten by this particular fly and to be infected by this pathogenic microorganism. However, um, the reason that the symptoms might change is more to do with antigens on the surface of the existing infection and the existing microbes changing. Um, there's nothing here to say that there's been any extra um, additional infections. So the answer for this one is C. So that was question 79 to 82 of the Green Booklet.